Let me ask you a question with guest posing. Do they always want people to be out of shape when they guest pose or like not? Because what if I'm lean? Are they okay with that? Of course. Of course, even better. Sometimes people are always like, I guess most of the year people are not in shape. Oh, nah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not like that. I don't know. Everyone's walking around with GH hats on. <laughs> yeah. We're all fans of growth hormone. It's the best. It's so good. I can put it on my hat. You're sponsor, man. I'm sponsored by growth hormone. Yep. <laughs> Look at that. That's yeah. funny. He's like the annoying little brother, but he's actually a big brother. Yeah. No. Oh. Why is it recording this? It is recording now. Oh, it is recording. <laughs> Frank is Frank is finding Frank's a lot of things to play with. We gotta blend it. It's gotta blend in. I think there's no hope for my face. Not money. <laughs> oh, they're here. So. No, what is that? That's is scary. You put it on your eyelash and you fucking... Hey, hey, get away from me, me uh, clockwork, clockwork Orange. You don't want pretty eyelashes, Antoine? You never look oh, at yourself in the mirror and go, damn, my life would be totally different if I had some uh, pretty I eyelashes. Yeah. Oh, there they are. Mm. And this place is fun. Yeah. I know. You know, Frank has never been to your house? No, no never. It's full of stuff. No. Yeah, it's cold on a helmet. Yeah, Antoine's kitchen's pretty exciting. Yeah, it's too big. I know you got it. <laughs> Antoine looks like he's he's concerned. <laughs> Just looking at him. <laughs> Frank. <laughs> Frank. Where's the fight? Where's the fight? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. Hey, there, there's a Spartan helmet, 300 miles. Little gladiator yeah. near my bed, near my bed. Get her point. <laughs> what, what can we talk about? You know, the Russian bathhouse closed, the one I was telling you about in Miami that we were going to go to. Hey, can, we, can we Google this? Well, there he this, is. Uh, I contacted my buddy Alex uh, Uzlar. He said, uh, that the bathhouse is now closed. <laughs> that, is it? Is that a gladiator helmet? Yeah. Yes, we're going to the bathhouse. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded funny. <laughs> Tell me more, like, Frank. What do you want to hear about? <laughs> I, w I want to know what you. What would you do in a bathhouse with that helmet on? Well, you see, first I would get a bath, <laughs> and then I'd get the soap, and then uh, I wash my butt. <laughs> <laughs> you wash your butt. Uh, that's the primal, you know. The, the 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 real primal thing is not to wipe. I didn't even know what you guys talking about. That's all I heard. I heard something fast. Oh, bathhouse. We're going. To, so uh, on the road trip, we're gonna to go to the bathhouse. Me and Juji. Yeah, oh, bath yeah. salts in the bathhouse. Yeah, <laughs> bathhouse in bathhouse. Like in Packy Cardi. Yeah. Hoi 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 Honda. You know what that is? Yes, yeah, Honda. Yeah, you know. E Honda. That was oh, yeah. So, so I had an idea one day. I wanted to do a guest posing with Juji. I had an idea once. Yeah, I'm sure you did. <laughs> yeah, one time. <laughs> so so uh, the idea with the, my guest posing with Juji, I think I told you before that, is Juji, your your Ken with with the, uh, yes. not the Barbie and Ken, your Ken and Ryu, your Ken with the red gi, because you, you got the, um, the light, the light uh, colored the hair. hair. He's got the hair. Yeah. And um, who am I? What will you be? Bison? Mr. Bison. The guy with the, the, no, who's that guy? Um, Saget? Uppercut. Oh, oh uh, Saget. That's yeah. Saget. Oh, Saget, you're right. No, Saget. He's the kickboxer. Shut up, Shut up, you Saget. <laughs> Shut up, you Saget. <laughs> sag. You freaking Sag. Wear a wig and I'll be right. No, so my get, I think the thing is that I'm Zangief. Okay. He's Ken. Oh. We pretend we want to fight. He does an aerial. I try to grab him. Oh yeah, I run around like a Russian wrestler, 
And then the, the MC goes like, hey, 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 here we don't street fight. Here we settle conflict with pose downs. Uh -oh. And then we were just hitting <laughs> poses. Did you guys see so. the, um, no, the two can, Asian dudes? Can, that... can, you, can you hear Frank? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear Frank. Oh. Did you ever see the two Asian dudes? I think they're Asian. And they do like the um, all the Street Fighter stuff. Like they're just making the noise with the in the microphone, but they're actually trying to. Like, oh yeah, 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 so yeah. Funny. That's it's funny. Like, doo, 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 doo. I know it's stupid. Yeah, but it's funny though. I haven't seen that. No. No. Oh, you should, you should send it to them. That's hilarious. Yeah, it's funny. It's two guys on stage. They were like, <laughs> in, a, in, a, in, a, in a karaoke <laughs> setting. Like that. In a karaoke setting, they don't even sing a song. They just make Street Fighter noises. Yeah, and but they're dressed up like they're Street Fighters. Right? Yeah, just, and, they're, and they're doing it very like lame. Like, like yeah, they're not doo, athletes doo, doo, doo. at all. Yeah. Yeah, but my guess was your idea is pretty good. Yeah, that'd be funny. Yeah, you, I bet they make a lot of money doing that. The 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 guys you were talking about? Yeah, the beatboxing Street Fighter guys are probably millionaires. Oh, they're not that videos. good. That's the funny thing. <laughs> the sounds the sounds are good. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> but my my idea of like a a guest posing with like I've never seen a guest posing with two bodybuilders that were like um, a theme. It's always been like one, they're down, stay on stage. This is gross. Don't eat this. <laughs> Don't eat this. They're, 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 they're always, wait for me to leave. No, they just stay there. It's fine. It's, it's like extreme, <laughs> extreme. Uh, oh, that's the pack I gave you. It's like extreme yeah, for podcast. Yeah. Um, yes, I've never seen uh, guest posing with like it's multiple guys. There, there's a team. It's like always like they're there. They're when they, they've done their own thing and they end up pose, doing pose down. Sounds kind of gay. <laughs> Shut up. Hey, if, if it sounds gay, I don't want to be gay because that's cool. Well, it sounds cool to me. <laughs> yeah, gay is happy. You yeah. Get... So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just just grab that clip and post it. Um, <laughs> wait, it would, it would be interesting though. Uh, would you do it one day if you're like really in shape, like the way you want? In shape again? You're always in shape, but. I mean, like, uh, if you're competing, whatever, or re rebounding from a show, we could, we yeah, could do that. Zing I've never done guest posing. I'd, uh, I need to knock that one off my bucket list someday, man. Yeah, I know. And and I think it, one way to do it is that you do it with me. Are they okay if you guest pose if you're not? It seems like – I don't know why. Let me ask you a question with guest posing. Do they always want people to be out of shape when they guest pose or, like, not? Because what if I'm lean? Are they okay with that? Of course. Of course, even better. Okay, I just <laughs> it's just that sometimes, um, sometimes it's people are always like, I guess most of the year people are not in shape. Yeah, yeah, I, I didn't know yeah. if it was just uh, the guest posers that organize those things are intentionally trying to get people when they're as out of shape as possible, or whether it just happens to be that way because bodybuilders just rebound after a show and it's <laughs> give Frank a chair. God damn it! <laughs> yeah, just have a chair, Frank. <laughs> And close Frank, the curtain. Frank, Frank loves podcasting. Yeah. What was on the other side of this curtain? It's like the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> all, the, all the fucking pulling strings. And stuff. The game is up. You can hear, hear us like that? Oh, I, I can hear you both pretty well. You're you're a little loud. Frank sounds better, actually. Okay, okay. So now I'm back up. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you both are good. You don't have to worry about being real close to the mic. I can hear you both clear. This is a fucking okay. serious setup over here. I know it's pretty cool. Huh? Wow, you should, exactly. you should, I have floodlights that go up on the the curtain there. Man, it makes my phone on a stand seem real shitty. You have a, what you, what do you think? That's an improvement. I got like. The, what do you think of uh, Antoine's monitor? Frank's pretty cool, isn't it? That curved yeah, monitor he has. Like, how much was that? A lot. Yeah, Probably grand. Yeah, I guess US it would be about that. Maybe a little bit more. They're worth it, man. Yeah. They're worth every penny. Yeah, I like it. When you do like a lot of it. See, see, Frank, so my right here, I got the, the, my two chats. I got WhatsApp, yeah, iMessage, and uh, I got right here the the podcast thing in the middle of Riverside. And then here, what I would yeah. do sometimes if I do. Oh, do the, thing screen. Yeah. Oh, you, nice. Oh, you guys, mm -hmm. one second, one second. Can you show, oh, you, you have a curvature one now. You've always had uh, one? It's not as curved. Yeah, it's curved, but it's not as curved as yours. Yours has a little bit more warp than mine. So, like, bathroom work, yeah. Oh. So for you look, look on the left. I got you know when I show stuff on the screen. Yeah. I go here, and I click here, and I throw it here, 
And on the right, I can like chat to people. Yeah, that's here. awesome, man. Yeah. I would love if I had room for that. I'd have that. Yeah. Someday. Someday. Yeah. So for the guest posing, Juju, you were saying that you um think you're right. It's not a lot of guest posers that are like in shape. I wonder because if you're four weeks out, you don't want to go out of your way and guest pose. Why wouldn't you though? It's just practice, right? I mean, unless you're flying to like a, exactly. a foreign country. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So, like, I I did my favorite guest posing that, that I felt the best was right just before I tore my right bicep in 2019 at the Fit Log Classic, the first Fit Log. I had, mm. a, I had a cool, I had a cool song. I had a cool outfit. It was like the play doctor with the mask, the cape. Remember? I've seen that. I've seen those. I've seen those photos. Yeah, these yeah. photos are cool. Yeah, the guys did a horrible uh, job filming me. They had this gimbal that moved, <laughs> moved on itself. It was terrible. Uh -huh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's all right. But um, yeah, but that was cool because I was four weeks out from like, what was it back then? New York Pro. Mm -hmm. I was four weeks out in New York Pro. And I was in really good shape. And uh, for some reason, I, I felt like my body was ne never like looked the same after that. Because I think because I tried to gain weight too quick. I think going to 330 pounds quickly was useless. So if anybody's listening right now, don't try to go to 300 pounds plus quickly. <laughs> I think most people are just trying to get to 200 pounds here listening. Yeah, I guess so. You're right. Yeah, I think uh, for like an average male, it's like a hundred and what, like five foot ten, six foot. I mean, an average weight for someone that's pretty, pretty damn lean is, you know, like going to be about one eighty five. That's about what we're I guess I guess you're right. Oh, but man, it, you know? yeah, promoters would love if you showed up lean. So imagine if we do that. Because my idea was one day, like if it, I think you were busy at the fit log and you couldn't go for, you're always doing stuff, right? So I was like, man. If Juji could like say, "Oh, we're going to the fifth log," and it makes sense for you to do that somehow, mm -hmm. we could do like the double guest pose, and uh, it would have to, it doesn't have to be uh, Zangief and Can. It could be anything else, but it's just the idea of it is kind of funny. Everybody knows Street Fighter. Yeah, so fifth log uh, this, this year is in May, I think. Did you? Uh, was that the one where you're the uh, the warrior or the rock star? So the um, Gladiator was the Pure Muscle show, and then yeah. right after. I, I four weeks later I, I did the one with the guitar where I smashed the guitar on stage. Yeah, that yeah. So how 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 often do uh, people that do guest posing actually do like gimmicks? I mean, I wouldn't gimmick isn't a good word because it's like like things like that more theatrical theme theme. theme, um, theme. I've seen people do themes, but I've never seen people do a theatrical like you said. Yeah, I don't know why you so wouldn't I, see that. Just put on a show, you know. I know it's because it takes work and you spend a little bit of money, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, I did those two guest posing for free, obviously, because it was for Khaled and Dorian. So I was just doing uh, something for fun. And I was like, because my idea was like, okay, let, how many times am I going to step on stage again in my life? Right? Let's say if by 40, I am done and 100% done. And you do two shows a year, tops. So that's eight shows. Yeah. So eight times on stage. So I have like less than ten times on stage on my in my life. Yeah, I have an I have an idea. So yeah. when you retire from bodybuilding, retire, yeah. um, why don't you just make a career of guest posing with like these really crazy fucking routines and just like stay almost mostly lean? You, you see what I'm saying? Like, mm. I guess you could, but then but then again, it would be like. The body wouldn't be as in shape. And the thing is, the, the goal, if I retire, um, I'm going to want to be like like 250 shredded, 250 lean, 260 lean, right? Yeah. That, that's like, because at that weight, I know I feel good. You'd have to lose uh, lose about 20 pounds of mass, wouldn't you? Yeah. Good. I mean, pounds. the thing is, like, maybe I, I won't try to, because, you know, Ian, I think Ian's doing something. I don't understand why he's doing it. He's like trying to lose weight fast to like run and stuff. But the thing is, with age, it's gonna happen anyway, right? So I wonder, like, once I retire, am I, should I try to like lose weight fast, or should I just try to like still train hypertrophy but 
add more other things, you know, maybe do less of it, but and then lose weight naturally. Like look at Cristolo. He only yeah. works out with weights three times a week. He's like two it looks he looks like two twenty shredded right now. He's not small at all. Yeah. You know, but it, so, so it's like I don't think we should do like what's Ian doing, like trying to lose weight so fast. Because when when you age, it's gonna happen anyway, right? Why would I try to be two fifty right away when I'm gonna be two fifty when I'm sixty? So here's a question: How do you? This sounds really ridiculous, but to me, it seems like uh, dieting for a bodybuilding show and trying to keep mass and lose fat would be less painful than what you would have to do to lose muscle too. Like how how do you diet to lose both? It sounds like starvation, <laughs> like real starvation. I just stop work. I guess you have to stop the weight training. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Because no, I think diet, cut yeah, cut diet calories is... and stop weight training. Oh god, yeah. it sounds horrible. No, maybe not. But yeah, maybe yeah. you're right. If I could, if, if I could stay like <clears throat> someone of like a bigger classic physique guy, okay. would ju just before my ass gets shredded, mm -hmm. that would be great. I could probably still do guest poses with that, but it wouldn't be as a the thing is, if you do a guest pose and the and the overalls winner is way better than you, would that still sell tickets? Unless it's all about the theatricals, right? If I mean, now, if every guest pose thing I do now, if I involve people, it's a surprise. Yeah, people are like, oh, I wonder what he's going to do today. It will have to be a a theatric, like a like a theater, like a how do you call that? A play almost. Yeah, a short play. Frank, you can come if you want. Oh, I've been reading sounds. Yeah. I'll oh, show sure, I do. Hey, Frank, uh, have you ever guest posed, Frank? Yes, a few times. Let's, let's find out. Let's go online. Antoine, are you can, can you close the curtain more than that? Please. What's the worst guest posing you've ever seen? The worst one I've seen was uh, Gustavo Bedell. <laughs> I think it was Trey Brewer. No, Trey Brewer. Gucci, you never saw Trey Brewer's guest posing? Uh uh. Can we see it? Good. Sure. Yeah, Put that on the screen. We'll yeah, I saw one of Gustavo Bedell where he just looked like straight up fat. Like he was just really fat. I was like, "Whoa, dude! This was, what this happened?" Was to beat. But he was hyped up so much, man. And he just—I don't know what he did with him. You see that? Whoa! Yeah, click. It. Show me some more. Scroll down. Huh? Wow. I wonder what percent body fat that is. It's got to be like. The thing is, like, be got a lot of muscle though. Oh, he's a big dude. All right. Yeah. It's funny because some shots, like, there it doesn't, like, I mean, saggy here, but it, it's just swollen, right? But, like, this one here, it's yeah, like, bad. man, bad angle. Love Handle City. Yeah. That's not horrible. But I think that's the same day. Yeah, I know, but it's like good lighting, maybe. Or... Well, no, it's not the same day. Look at the trunks. Yeah, Look at these trunks. Yeah, yeah, sure. It's different one. It was way out of there. This is like him. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Is he wearing classic physique trunks? What the hell? Yeah, but sometimes we do that because we don't want to show our glutes when we're guest posing, right? Why? Because <laughs> if you're if you have like a, a fat bum, yeah. They call it the soggy glutes. Saggy glutes, yeah, man. Like that's great. That's great. Yeah, that is good. That's this is what he won this Calibur. The short I put him on a map. I mean, he looks good there. Look at that one here. He was big. That was Nick Walker's guest posing. Yeah, that's... yeah, that was nuts. I think I think everyone knows uh, the, the the picture of uh, I can't I can't think of people's names right now. My brain doesn't work. Uh, who is who got second or third at the Olympia this past year? Adi, uh, Derek Lunsford. There, Derek. Yeah, Derek. Derek when he uh, uh, moved from classic or two twelve or whatever to uh, I can't think right now to to open that. That bulking season, holy shit, dude. But the thing is, it, 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 there was rumors it was going to open, but he never did. He stayed he stayed too well. That fucking photo right there, dude, that's like, yeah. it's not even photoshopped. It's it's the it's nuts. It's going to be one of those permanent bodybuilding photos. He's a 212 guy. Yeah, I, I don't know. Derek is fucking nutty, dude. That's, that's just nuts. We could plan maybe to see him if he's not too busy after the, uh, right after the Olympia. Yeah. I love Derek. He's awesome, dude. Like, click on click on some more of those ones. It's just like look at the far left. That one there. Now another one below it. I can't get enough of that photo, man. It's nuts. 
It's one of my favorite photos of bodybuilding. It's just, it's so cool. He, look, he looks like he's a cartoon character. Look at his face, too. He's got the best facial expression. I love that one, dude. Click on the uh, lineup. Go up, uh, click on the lineup uh, when they were all guest posing together. Yeah. They must have paid them a lot of money to, for all of them to come out like that. I think something you have to do. Because this is the uh, Pittsburgh, yeah. NPC Pittsburgh, and you know who's promoting that show? The Manions. Mm -hmm. they're, they're like, you're coming to our guest posing because we judge your Olympia. Well, it's just like when was it? Uh... Rami, Rami show didn't show up, and then he, he, lost he got a lot of shit, and then he, he played. Lost yeah, he got fifth place. I'm yeah. not saying that's the reason, but really, that political? Yeah, I don't, I don't doubt it. Rami was not quite as conditioned as he was last year. I think that's what they just held against him. Yeah, but he, they were, I know they were mad that he didn't show up in the back end. Well, it's just kind of the way he does things, though. He just disappears. He's trying to play that whole shadow game, but it doesn't really work on social media when you come out of the fucking woodwork and you place fifth, you know? Being yeah. Mr. Olympia, you got to be doing a lot of stuff besides being on stage. Mm -hmm. Like, some guys are, like Jay. Like, Jay was really good at it. And, like, look at all the guys now. Like, they kind of just, like, hide away and just keep Well, Hadi can barely speak... I mean, he can not speak English, and he can barely hear, period. It's kind of hard for him to be a people's person, right? Yeah. So he's, he, I think he's partially deaf or something. Yeah, but you know who I, you know who I have a feeling would be a really good Mr. Olympia for the, as an ambassador? I think Derek would be the guy. He's great, yeah. I think Derek could be the face of bodybuilding, mm -hmm. you know, like more than Samson. More than Samson. And Nick, Nick is good, but I find, like, as far as, like, traveling – you know, be on camera, and I think Derek is really good at that. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I wasn't following your line of thought. Yeah, yeah, you're right, because he's checking off all the other boxes to be an ambassador for the sport, spread it, you know, uh, network, uh, just do all the things that involve promoting it, because a lot of guys just, they just come in, they compete, they take their trophy, they hold their reign, and they just disappear, and they don't really give back other than, than what they're giving on stage, I guess, and competing but yeah Derek, Derek checks off all those boxes um i think nick walker does a pretty good job of that too yeah i think so i think so but again he doesn't really travel that much nick walker look at Badel there this is when you you i think this is what it is uh no it was well is that it click on it yeah i saw one i think he was in mexico it was in mexico that's the one from mexico uh, whatever video I saw was like, oh gosh, you know. Oh, I wonder if there was this one. He just looks like he's like natural. He just came off for a long time. Maybe. He's not fat though. I don't think that's the one I was talking about. He's not even doing it at the Frank Zane poses. I'm just okay. What happened to that guy? Adele, he died. He passed away. Oh, I didn't know he was dead. So he had kidney failure. And what I heard was that he was trying to like put weight back on and died. I don't know. I don't know if I don't know the, if that's a real story or not. Well, you can show you, you can look it up if you want. Probably a heart attack from it though. Well, this one what I heard. I heard he had kidney failure and then he was trying to like get back in shape or something. So that so that's him at his best. Yeah, he was he was great. So like two thousand five? They're freaking reeking. Wow, look at that thing on the left here. Yeah. Yeah, Sabu Badel. We forget about like some of the top the guys who were like third in the world. We just forget about them sometimes. Yeah, it's crazy. It really kind of I think puts things in perspective for you guys, or at least I think it would. Mm -hmm. You gotta be doing things outside the sport in order to, you know, I, I don't know, have the best life you can and <laughs> make the sport better for the fans and stuff. I, I don't know. That's just what I think. So, Yeah. It's kind of like what we're talking about with Derek being a good ambassador for the sport, Jay Cutler being a good ambassador. Yeah, Derek could be like another mini Jay, you know? But Jay was already fucking in the fucking game, like but rich. Jay, Jay is better now than when he was competing, like, as in he's like presence online and, and like social media and stuff like that. 
Well, that's because uh, there was no social media when he was competing, Frank. <laughs> I don't know when I play Cutler, this guy still shows up. Come on, man. That would piss me off if I was uh, Jay Cutler and I'm still having to fight this football player for image results on Google search. I, I got a funny story. So uh, when you used to search my name, John Call, John Call, interior designer, I think in New York, was the first guy that would always appear. And then when I uh, started going viral, I just completely replaced them. It must have been a shock to him when he'd search his own name and be like, oh, God, you know, like, what does happen? Frank wants to see your America's Got Talent. My routine? Yeah. Oh, let's see. That was, that was a cool stage. Not that one. Uh, it's the third from the top. This one here? Yeah. Uh, no, the one down. That one might be it. Yeah, that's that's the uh <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I forgot you did that. You had good knees back then, huh? <laughs> yeah, I had knees back then, yeah. <laughs> he he bugged you off? Nah, he liked it. A good five forty. Look at the guys in prison in the back. Yeah. That was a cool crowd. Yeah. You know, what's interesting about that was they were so worried about me dropping Heidi the whole time. And I was like, that wasn't what I was worried about. I was like, I was like, guys, you got to have the right chairs for the chair split. That's the hard part. They wouldn't listen to me. They're like, oh, yeah, 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 chairs, whatever. You, do you need to practice or something for Heidi? I was like, no, that's the easy part. They, what they thought was hard was easy. And what they thought was easy was hard for me. They didn't really understand the difficulty of what I was doing, like what was hard to not. They knew you were going to lift her? Yeah, yeah, but you know, it's funny. when I, they, they didn't show it in the footage there. When I, when I motioned her to come up, she was shaking her head and just like looking at me like I was an idiot. And I was like, wait, you're supposed to come up here. Like, this is part of the routine. And she was just like, uh, w what are you doing? I was like, oh, shit. And so for like one second there, I was like about to improvise and do something completely different. And then she got up. I was like, oh, shit, she had me fooled. Oh, yeah, I thought someone gave her, uh, someone didn't give her the memo or something. I was like, oh, shit, she's not getting up out of that chair, dude. What would you have done? I don't know. I, I was, like, freaking out for, for like, a split second there. I was like, I got I, I to gotta do something, like a backflip flash kick, and then she got up out of the chair. I was like, oh, okay, I'm good. Wait, who was that? Uh, that was uh, Te Tecla. So she was just someone that helped me with my routine that day. I threw her uh, off the stage. <laughs> you threw her off the stage? Mm-hmm. That's funny. That was another thing they were worried about. Uh, they thought I was going to throw her, throw her too far. So how many? I thought you only did one. I did two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, So you hit the chair by mistake, obviously. <laughs> well, that was three in the morning. Oh, God. Really. I was, they were telling me to warm up at 4 p.m. all the way to 3 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Are you doing the chair flips again? Uh, I did it with the neck harness on, yeah. Yeah. You're really strong. <laughs> did you like the gorilla part? No, he didn't like it. That's funny. So what happened? Uh, I didn't make that round. They cut it from 80 to 20. Oh, okay. So they narrowed it down from 80 people to 20 people there. But uh, that was one of the hardest days. Uh, 
in terms of like warming up for something, imagine that routine is really fucking hard, like really, really hard for me to do. So imagine someone's telling you you're going to have to max out on squat, like PR on squat. And they're telling you at 5 PM, any minute now, any minute now, any minute now, all the way till 3 AM. Oh my God. I was so fucking like messed up dude from, because they kept like putting someone else in front of me or changing something. So I was just like, any minute now, any minute now, hurry up and wait, hurry up and wait. I said, like, God, I'm dying. So it was a really stressful day. Yeah. You gotta look very interesting stuff here. Look, you guys got both got rats. Yeah. That, that's actually Juji's. Oh, why do I have this again? I think it's is Sam where you put in my stuff. Yeah. Yeah. She gave it to you. You saw that dice I gave you. Oh yeah. Right here. Yeah. yeah. It's, I have a little, like uh, look, Juji. dice here. This is all about this is all my cool it stuff. Looks a little yeah. dicey. It looks a little dicey. You want to play uh, Yahtzee, CeeLo? Yeah, CeeLo. Yahtzee. So in my little thing here, I have your dice. I have a little little Thor's hammer made of metal. I have, I have the little gargoyle you gave me. I gave it to you. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was. You gave me like. How'd you do that? Who did that? How'd, how'd you do that, Frank? Well, you see, it's a special talent I have. No, no, I don't know what I happened. I bring balloons with me everywhere I go. How did, what happened? <laughs> How'd that happen? I put, I put, what did you press? I was, I was putting, I was putting the dice back in here. And I put it right there. <laughs> Where'd the balloons come from? Was it you? Dude, are you messing with us? No, no, I'm not. I was there blowing the balloons. And I just... I don't, I've never seen this on Riverside. What happened? I got nothing open. No. That was weird. What was that? Can I, can I, can I do it again? Do it. Okay, man. I'm going to do exactly what I did last time. Wait, wait. I'm going to do it. Like, it's going to be like, um, replay. What's it called? Um, deja vu. I just, uh, Google searched it and there's no results for what just happened. Juju, really? show us the rat again, Juju. All right, we we gonna we gonna work backwards. Yahtzee. Oh, wow. Well, it's a little dicey. So this is my stuff here. I got this. Yahtzee. Got the hammer. Can I pick up this and put it back. Yeah. You play Celo. Happy birthday. If you type in like "Happy birthday" somewhere in a ch chat, that's what's happening on your phone. We I know, but "Happy birthday," balloons. Happy Kwanzaa. How that? Oh God. So that was weird. Can you use someone to type in here? Anything? Like a no, I don't know. I'm just trying. I'm, I'm looking. I just Google searched it, and there's no results for uh, any anything related to this. Uh, we got. We gotta, I can't wait. How to to, to put balloons in Riverside? You're a really good typer, man. You're a really good typer. I'm not. Yeah, you are. So I got to is a fast typer. Oh, that was pretty quick. That was pretty quick. We, could, we could do a contest online. I'd win. Yeah, I know you're doing. Yeah, I don't know. You know what? Maybe it's my webcam. Let's do a balloon. How to put balloons. Uh, El Gato face cam. Mr. Rabato? El Gato? Yeah, I don't know. Man. Well, it's like if I, text, if I text you right now. It's the happy birthday. That was what happened. Well, if you have an iPhone, he doesn't have yeah, an iPhone. Yeah. Doesn't have an iPhone. But that was that was trippy. Yeah, I don't understand. Maybe on the on the playback, like maybe in the comments, people in the comments, can you figure this out, please? Imagine we go on the on the Riverside website and it said, "Hey, there's a balloon on your screen. You've just won a million dollars." Uh, that would be great. <laughs> but that's an understatement. Yeah. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. Oh well. Frank, what do you got uh, lined up for travel there, my friend? What do you got lined up for travel upcoming? Well, I just got I just got back from Texas. Uh, um, probably gonna head to the Olympia. Are you guys gonna go? Yeah. Did you? Yeah, I'll probably hit the Olympia. I haven't been to Olympia in a couple of years, so I'll probably go this year. They have a booth, right? No, we're not gonna have no. a booth this year. It's just it's too much money, man. It's like crazy. Yeah. To have a booth at Olympia is like really expensive. Yeah, it is. Expensive. Um, but. No, happy birthday. Happy birthday, balloons. Keep going. Kwanzaa. <laughs> Antoine just wants it to be balloons again. How long How long are you in Orlando, Frank? Four or five days, probably. How about you guys? 
We're doing a road trip. As long as you are, Juji. We're we're gonna do a road trip down there. It's gonna be great. Oh, you are? After yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, is that well? His dad has his van, mm-hmm. or it's his dad's van that he bought for him. But he's actually that you will will be able to use it. So you're gonna drive down there? Yes. We got a uh, Class B motorhome van I uh, bought for my dad, and it's technically mine. And I haven't even seen it. I don't know what I bought. But he seems to like it. Well, it's pretty cool. What's the name of it? So what are you guys going to do? It's a Thor Scope, I think is what it's called. Uh, Thor Scope 144. Yeah, type in Thor Scope 144. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. Uh, what are we going to do? Well, we're trying to figure that out. That's why I'm asking you, uh, you know, how long are you going to be in Orlando for? Yeah. I will be there. And if you want me to be a part of something, I'm sure I could make myself... Available for... Uh... So wait, the, the name of the van is Thor? Yeah, yeah, it's called a Thor Thor motorhome. Well, that's Antoine's new car. <laughs> Look at this thing. It's got, an, it's got a stove, a fridge, microwave, all that stuff. It's got a little cafe table that you can eat at and do work at. It's got a bed, um, but I don't think it's big enough for big people. I, I don't know. I don't think... I don't plan to sleep in it. Um, oh, no? It's got a shower and a toilet. Um, what? Yeah. What else does it have? I don't know, dude. I haven't even seen the damn thing. Yeah, it's got an engine and tires. Uh, my dad just likes to go to state parks. and. So is it a 2023 or a 2022 you got? It's a 23. I think motorhomes are not expensive right now, or they're they're having trouble selling them or something because they're all on discount. This van? Yeah, we got a really good price for it. I mean, um, it seems like that's kind of common everywhere, so it's just we're – the car economy is or something i'm not sure what's going on but it was way lower than it should have been in price and it was new whoa whoa. nice i cancel my hotel room it looks like that it kind of looks like that yeah i think i like that all rvs always have this color of everything in there yeah we did an rv yeah we did for the with mike johnson i'm going no no oh iron bull iron bull yeah juji were you no he wasn't there how long how many were you there juji i was not there now which tune was there? Huh? Yeah. How many days did we go? I think it was like a week. Oh, yeah. In Montreal, in Quebec. And... Yeah. You guys did not sleep in the van, though, did you? Oh, yeah, oh, we yeah. did. In the, in, the, in the It wasn't a van. It was a big RV. Listen, we used to... There was only one big bed, and the other beds were really small and shitty. Oh, yeah. So everywhere we went, we would do, like... If we played mini golf, whoever won mini golf got to get the big bed. Whoever won the go, uh, go-kart race got the big bed. But by the end of it, on the way home, we all just slept in the same bed together. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, we did. Well, on the way back. Those are some serious stakes for playing those games, though. Like, because usually, like, putt putt and mini golf, like, okay, you can bet some money, like 20 bucks or something, or uh, someone buys dinner, but who gets the big bed? That's a, for a big guy, that's very important. <laughs> I think I was, I think Quinton was losing most of the time. I suppose, he, I suppose he gave up. Well, all I know is that we had three competitions and I won both. I'd be sweating bullets if I was putt putting over who gets the big bed. I won the, the mini golf, I won. I thought I thought I won that. No, I won the mini golf. We go back to the videotape if you want. <laughs> I won the go go uh, kart race, and then Antoine cheated on the scooter race. No, I didn't cheat. He cheated. I didn't cheat. Where's he that? used his leg? He pushed with his leg, not the actual scooter. <laughs> it's an electric scooter. You podcast guys listening out there, who's listening, who's who's listening to this podcast, comment. Uh, me, Antoine, and a van in Florida for five days. Uh, Frank, there for part of the time. What do we do? Let us know. Let us know in the comments. Yeah, let us know what what to do. I think we should stop the podcast at forty five minutes. Yeah, we got about three or four minutes left here. Yeah, let's find the Iron Bull's strength. Oh yes, the <laughs> day one Burlington. Okay, there, there. Yeah, yeah, found it. Okay, so yeah, we got to find the, the the races. So, oh, there it is. There's the race. So, tell Georgie, you'll have to tell me if you think it's cheating. I think it's still. Wow, I never seen these. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've seen these. I never seen these either. Oh, you just. Don't... <laughs> I don't know dancing. Who won the strength thing? You won the strength thing, didn't you? I got second. The strength thing. Hitting the. Oh, I might have won that, yeah. I think I might have won that one. That's very close. Oh, there it is. There's the race. Yeah, yeah. Let's look at the one you won. This 2019? Yeah. I remember that hat. I remember that hat. It's kind of funny when you look back at old footage and, and like, rooms look different and you're wearing clothes you forgot about Mm -hmm. and stuff. 
Yeah. That's always funny. Or less of those. The camera's really good, eh? Yeah, it's Eric's camera. Oh, Gus is there. Frank. Well, I had I had those still. I know I was doing crazy tricks on the thing. Look. I don't know. <laughs> I love those things, but yeah, but we should do another one. See that? Look, See that? Look, look. Is that cheating? So I got that. You're cheating. You think I was cheating? Watch, 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 watch this. Look, look. He has put the use his foot. Oh yeah, why why can't I let you my foot? Big bad. Bad. <laughs> the big bad. He was way smaller yeah. than this. Is he that Quentin? Like oh, he looks yeah. miserable. <laughs> Poor Quentin. <laughs> He's still quiet. He's still wanting to stay. <laughs> Those are your uh, super awesome kitchen stuff sunglasses. You're right. Okay, let's play again. It, no, let's go to the mini golf. Or, no, no, or... Jushi, do you think I cheated? Well, no, no, I don't, I don't, I don't think you cheated, Antoine, because. Uh, Look, look. Ask me, you had to use his foot. No, I'm not. <laughs> I didn't see. I won fair and square. You're making up rules, Frank. Okay, so uh, you want to see the gold card? We said uh, that I won. So we're going to put the gold, gold card without the sound. Okay, let's see. Gold card. Do four truck race. Is it here? Where is it? Oh, oh, here it is. Frank, didn't you used to be a fork, fork truck driver or something in a warehouse? I did a little bit, a little bit when I was younger. Yeah, how do I remember that? I think me and Q was like tail, like tailing each other the whole time because we're we we're kind of the same weight. That's pretty fast for large dudes in gold cards. Where am I? Which one's me? Because I was giving her to him, man. We'll get to this straight away. I was like, whatever this thing could do. I think we're so fast. Why is he out of breath? <laughs> <laughs> Why is Quinton out of breath? Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> third place, was it? Yeah, third place. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking lost. <laughs> Yeah, look at this. Big bed. <laughs> Big bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah. Yeah, uh, last spread, yeah. I was like, where's the champagne? Where's the yeah. champagne? You, you saw the trophy? Yeah, I do. I swear to God, it's on my it's on my <laughs> It's on your desk. Yeah. I love trophies for weird things. They're my favorite ones. I got I got some weird trophies too. What's your favorite one? Did you show it to us? Well, I think you have the same trophy, Antoine. One of them is really cool. Is uh, the oh, well, the YouTube one? The, no, it's the it, well. I got the yeah. Yes, muscle and strength. Uh, one million views. Yeah, for a, a full day of eating video, it was great. <laughs> Mine's right there. Right, right here. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. They said that. Yeah, I thought it was cool too. Yeah, I got the golden plaque from uh, YouTube as well. Also got the garage gym garage gym reviews reward. You see that one? Oh wow! I didn't, I didn't know you had that. Yeah, they they gave me a, a award for uh, last year for their little award thing. So I got that. I thought that was neat. I just like weird trophies. Yeah. Oh yeah. Do you remember in the mini golf that I got the whole I got the whole one? I don't remember that. I do. Hold on, baby. <laughs> Shut up. You know what we should do? We should do like a revenge game uh, for a road trip. So Juji, me, you, and Frank, we just do some mini putt or a go kart well, again. Be, I've been practicing. Really? No. How many holes? <laughs> Anyways, 
So but when uh, you got that natural talent. What's a natural talent? I fucking know how to put a it in talent? a hole. I know how to put it in a hole, baby. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> All right. On that note, guys, in the comments, what kind of game would you want to see me, Juji, and Frank play on the Juji Mufu, Juji Tuan road trip? What is that what we call it? Juji Tuan road trip? Yeah, we call it whatever we want. That sounds right. Yeah, Juji Tuan road, road trip. Special guest. Special guest, Frank Rigorsley. Ward. The, ne the ward that never goes away. All right. Comment. <laughs> Thanks for watching and supporting the channel. Please make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. Share this episode on social media to your friends, your family, your mom, grandmother. Feel free to comment below if you love us, hate us. In case you didn't know, our home site, ibbama.org, has all these videos plus some exclusive stuff, uncensored stuff. I got two podcasts that I'm hosting, Juju Tuan and AV and the Wrath. So I really appreciate you all for supporting us, watching us. To many more podcasts to come. Thanks for watching.